In this video, we are going to discuss about SQL operators and R and not. These operators are called as logical operators also. Uh, in C, we have logical and represented by two ampersand symbols. Whereas in SQL, we use a keyword called and. In C, logical R means pipe symbol. Whereas here in SQL, we use R keyword. Next, logical not exclamation mark. Whereas here we use not keyword. Okay. Here and R and not operators are used uh, in the where class. So we know that uh, uh, we have a syntax called select next to from where. So in where class, we have to use and R and not. Generally, we use this and and R if there are more than one condition. So if there is more than one condition, that means two conditions or three conditions. If there is more than one condition, then we have to use a and and R. First, let's see what is and. And means it displays all the records when all the conditions are true. So what is and? It displays the records when all the conditions are true. So that means true true means true. Whereas true false, false true, false false means false. So it displays the records when all the conditions are true. Otherwise it returns the false. Now let's see what is R. R means if one of the condition is true, then it returns it displays the corresponding records. Otherwise, it won't display. So that means here, false, false means false. Otherwise, true, true, true. So if one of the condition is true, then it displays the corresponding record. Uh, next, not means negation. It simply inverses the result. It simply negates the result. Okay. Uh, now let us take, uh, now let us discuss and or not. With the help of this table, EMP table, EMP table totally contains four columns, employee ID, name, yes, and so So we have four records present in the employee table. First, let us see about and operator. Okay. Uh, for that, let us uh, use a query. Uh, if the displays the records, when the yes is, when the yes is greater than 20 and when the salary is, when the salary is greater than 30,000, when the salary is greater than 30,000. So for that, let us write the query. So select, select star from, what is the name of the table? EMP. So here uh, we have to use the and condition. So where, where, so what is the first condition here? Yes is greater than 30. So where yes is greater than 30 and so for and we have to use this keyword and and what is the second condition? Sal is greater than 30,000. Sal is greater than 30,000. So it displays the records only when these two conditions are true. Okay. Uh, here uh, yes is greater than 30. So here A's is greater than 30, A's is greater than 30, A's is greater than 30. Next salary is also, salary is greater than 30,000, greater than 30,000. So here the salary is greater than 30,000, here, here also salary is greater than 30,000, here also salary is greater than 30,000. So it displays the last three records. So employee ID, name, A's, sal. So what is the first record? 20, Mahesh, 35, 35,000. Why? Because here, uh, name of the, age of the Mahesh is greater than 30, as well as salary of the Mahesh is greater than 30,000. So next record, 30, Naresh, 40, 40,000. So Naresh age is greater than 30, as well as Naresh salary is greater than 30,000. Next to 40, Suresh 45 20,000 45 here what is the age of Suresh age of Suresh is 45 so that means one condition is true 
But here, what is the second condition? Salary is greater than 30,000. But Suresh's salary is less than 30,000. So this record, the last record won't be displayed. So it displays only these two records. Why? Because here the age is greater than 30 and salary is greater than 30,000. Age is greater than 30 and salary is greater than 30,000. It displays these two records. Now in place of fund, let us use R. So select displays the records. When age is, where age is greater than 30 or salary is greater than 30,000. So the only modification which we have to do is in place of fund, we have to use R keyword. In place of fund, we have to use R keyword. So what is R? If one of the condition is true, if one of the condition is true, then it displays the corresponding record. Age is greater than 30. But Ramesh age is what? 25. So 25 greater than 30. False. As well as what is Ramesh salary? 25,000. 25,000 is greater than 30,000. False. So this record won't be displayed. Where he has coming to the remaining three records. Age is greater than 30. 30 greater than 35. Age is 35. 35 greater than 30. True. 35,000 is greater than 30,000. Both the conditions are true. So this record will be displayed. Next. Age is greater than 30. 40 is greater than 30. As well as 40,000 is greater than 30,000. Both the conditions are true. So this record will also get displayed. Now let us do some modification. In place of 40, let us write 28,000. In place of 40, 40,000, let us write 28,000. Now let's see what are the records that have to be displayed. So 20, Mahesh, 35, 35,000 will be displayed. Why? Because this condition is true as well as this condition is also true. Now let's see the second condition. A is 40. 40 is greater than 30. So this condition is true. But here what is the salary? 28,000. 28,000 is greater than 30,000. False. But what is R? If one expression is true, then entire expression is true. So this record will also get displayed. So this is the advantage of the R. If one of the condition is true, then the corresponding record will be displayed. 40 greater than 30. This condition is true. So this record will also get displayed. Next year age is 45. 45 greater than 30. True. 45 is greater than 30. Condition is true. Next 20,000 is greater than 30,000. False. But one condition is true. If one condition is true, then the corresponding records will be displayed. So 40, Suresh, 45, 20,000. Okay. So this record will also get displayed. This is about our operator. Now let's see about not operator. Let's see about not operator. So select star from EMP. So let us see one example here. Where, where salary is where salary is greater than 30,000. Where salary is greater than 30,000. So then what is the output? So we have this record. In this record, salary is greater than 30,000. In this record, yeah, we have only one record where the salary is greater than 30,000. Here we have 25,000. Here we have 28,000. Here we have 20,000. So in the first record, third record and the fourth record, salary is less than 30,000. So we will get only this as the output. 20 minus 35, 35,000 as the output. Now what we have to do? We have to use the NOT keyword. We have to use the NOT keyword. So NOT keyword means it simply reverses the result. Okay. So now the first record, third record and fourth record will be displayed. NOT sale is greater than 30,000. NOT sale is greater than 30,000. So that means the second record won't be displayed. We will get output as the first record. Why? Because here the salary is less than 30,000. Not sale greater than 30,000 means salary is less than 30,000. So first record salary is less than 30,000. Second next third record salary is less than 30,000. Next record salary is less than 30,000. So we will get this as the output. So this is about under operator, R operator and not operator. These operators can also be called as logical operators.